Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to put an idler pulley on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a stubby Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, and a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is disconnect the power to the dryer. If it's a corded dryer, we'll simply disconnect the plug. And if it's a hardwired dryer, we'll need to locate the fuses or the breakers and turn those off. Now there are two methods to get at the idler pulley and it depends on what style of dryer you have. There is an access panel on the back of some of these models that is held in place with uh, four quarter inch hex head screws. You could take those off and you're right in front of where the idler pulley would be. Uh, other models do not have that access panel and you would need to go through the front. So we'll show you the front view uh, and try to give you a close up of what it would look like to do the repair from behind. So to remove the front, we'll need to take two Phillips screws, there's one about an inch in from each side, and they are at an angle, so you'll need a stubby screwdriver to take those out. Now we'll tilt the front panel out at the bottom, and let it unhook at the top where there's a couple of spring clips. Now there's a wire harness going to the door switch, so we'll release that wire harness from the little retainers and we'll just turn that panel around. You can also disconnect it from a little wire retaining clip on the bulkhead. And next we'll remove four 5 16 screws that hold the bulkhead in place. up and pull the bulkhead forward and we can set that aside. Next we're going to lift up on the drum and pull it forward to take it off of the rear drum rollers. And that will release the tension of the belt on the idler pulley. Then we can reach in on the left hand side, locate the idler pulley, pull the belt off of it. Take it off of the motor pulley, and then we can lift the drum right out of the dryer. Set that aside. Now the idler pulley is located at the rear of the drive motor, it's held in place by a single 5 16 hex head screw and then there is a spring that provides the tension. We can just disconnect the spring that allows us to move the idler bracket assembly easily. And the idler pulley is held on that bracket with an E-ring. So with a small flat blade screwdriver, we'll reach in, locate that E-ring. Once we remove the E-ring and the fiber washer, we should be able to roll that pulley off of the shaft and slide the old pulley off of the shaft. Then we'll take our new pulley. Now there's a front and a back to this pulley. And the side that is flush or that the ribs are flush with the outside edge is the side that will go on first. Slide that onto the shaft. Next, the fiber washer. Then locate the groove in the end of the shaft and press our E-ring into place. You may need to use the flat side of the screwdriver to make sure it's fully on. We'll reconnect the spring to the idler bracket. Now we're ready to reinstall the drum and the belt. The easiest way to do this is to lay the belt across the top of the rear bulkhead, down each side, and then in the general area of the motor and drive pulley. 
Now we can reinstall the drum. Push it in far enough so that the top of the drum is inside of the cabinet, but leave about four inches out from the back at the bottom so that we can reach in there and roll the belt around the idler and around the motor pulley. Now this dryer uses a V or multi-V belt and the flat side of the belt will lay against the drum. So we'll just lay it across the top of the drum roughly where it should be. Now with the drum in the right location we can pull that belt about six inches in onto the top of the drum, flat side of the belt against the drum, the groove side up. And we're going to make sure that the belt coming down the side doesn't have any turns in it or twists. Flat side against the drum. And we're going to pull it right across, over top of the motor pulley, down and under and around the idler pulley. So we can do this with our hands in from the back side. Underneath the motor, and we'll roll it out around the idler pulley. We can push the idler pulley towards the left side of the cabinet. It'll give us a little more room on the belt. And we'll tuck the trailing edge of that belt inside the fork-shaped bracket on the idler. in place we should be able to lift that whole drum up onto the rear drum rollers and very carefully turn it clockwise from the front you should see your motor you should see the motor blower turning Again, feel, make sure that we've got rib side up on the belt, flat side down, no twists. Now we're ready to reinstall the front bulkhead. There are four tabs on the edge brackets of this bulkhead that will fit into the larger holes in the front of the cabinet. We'll tuck the top of that bulkhead in first, then make sure we have the bottom of it underneath the drum. You may need to lift up on the drum a bit. And those little tabs will hold that bulkhead in place until we put the screws in. Now before we put the front panel on, we'll check to make sure that the inlet to the blower housing fit inside of the felt band. And we'll also check inside the drum to make sure that the front felt on the bulkhead did not get folded over anywhere. There. We root our harness up and connect it to the retaining clips. Swing that front panel into place. Engage the top of the front panel to the main top and tilt it back into place. Reinstall the two Phillips screws. Again, remember they're at an angle. Now we can reconnect the power to the dryer and our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.